Hello everyone, thanks for joining in. My name is Arnold and today we are going to talk about the gaming and pool betting tax. Now the gaming and pool betting tax is a tax that is paid by gaming companies in Uganda. It is a weekly tax and the filing and payment of this tax is supposed to be effected by Wednesday of every new week. So in today's session, I'm going to show you how it is filed and uh, I'm going to show you two categories of kind, two kinds of gaming companies and how we file this gaming and pool betting tax return. Let's get to uh, the URA site that is www.ura.go.ug. So right here, we are going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll down and um, I'm going to scroll down and click on download online forms right there after clicking on downloading online forms so i'm going to scroll down here again and i am going to go to gaming right here gaming tax weekly return form that's what i'm interested in this is a weekly tax form so this gaming tax weekly return form i come back here and say i click on this link dt2027 i click on that and those that are using google chrome like i am doing this is how it's going to come out it's going to download right there so well, I can click on it and open it, but I like to remove it from here, from the download folder and put it in another folder where I can easily find it the next time. This is just a personal preference. You can put it anywhere. So I'm going to go to the folder. I'm going to say show in folder. I go to that template. I copy it or I cut it from there and I put it in a folder of my preference. That's where I want to open it from. So I've put it right there in this folder. It's called GPBT Gaming and Pool Betting Tax. That's what it is. It means GPBT Return Weekly. And uh, up here we have uh, another folder called Gaming. I'm going to open this folder. It is where it has our information, the information that we are going to use to fill this return down here. So I'm going to open the Gaming folder. I've double clicked. I've opened it. So here is the Excel folder. Now, within this Excel folder, the one that we're going to use for purposes of this uh, tutorial, we have two kinds of companies. We have giving, gaming companies that just have, they deal with one category of game. For example, you have a gaming company that just deals in soccer and uh, their, their gaming activities are around soccer. So this is the information. Here, the information is about, we have the stake amount, that is the amount that people go and stake that Arsenal is going to beat Manchester United. I have staked this amount, blah, 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 those details. So this is the stake amount, the total stake amount per day. Remember, this is a, uh, a tax that happens per day. So this is, if we start with Sunday, then, and so on. Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So the first day of the week is Sunday for tax purposes as far as filing this is concerned. So that is how it, the stake amount. Then after the game is done, that is the soccer match is done. And it so happens that Arsenal indeed went ahead and beat Manchester United. Then the payout is this. Uh, the payout is this. This. Uh, this. Um, this is how much was paid out. And that is the column. So there are companies that just have it as simple as that. So I'm going, this is where, this is the one I'm first going to show you how we file this. Then there are companies that have multiple gaming activities. This is what they get, the sheet here, the other sheet here is, is about, multiple games. Let me click on it. So when you come on this multiple game, we have people, uh, gaming companies that have slot machines. So this is how their in and out will look like. We have those that have betting. We have those maybe online and then casino. It could be having other gaming activities. So this is just a sample for different gaming activities. So they've given their information again from the dates from Sunday up to Saturday. So um, when it comes to these multiple gaming activities, I'm going to show you how we fill the template that, that corresponds to that. And after filling the template, then I'll show you how it is uploaded onto the URA system. So let's get started with the one for the single games. So it is here. Remember, we had already downloaded the template. So I'm going to go ahead and open the template from the folder where I had saved it right here. This is GPBT, Gaming and Pool Betting Tax, return the weekly return form. 
I'm going to open it. So now that I have opened it, I'm going to go and click Enable Editing right there. Then after clicking Enable Editing to Enable Macros, I'm going to go and click on Enable Content. Then they're going to tell me, do not please do not cut and paste any values in the sheet. I'll say OK. And here we are. So I'm going to put the team, the team of the uh, gaming company. So I've just put a gaming company, random team right there. Then I'm going to come down here to section A to E. I'll click on that. This is section A to E. Now under section A to E, we have gaming tax return. The information, we have section A here, the taxpayer information. Now this information, in case you need a refund, for whatever reason, in case you need a refund, then you should go ahead and fill this information. As you can see, there is a red asterisk which shows that this information is mandatory, but it is mandatory in case you need a refund. So you just go here and click whatever bank you have to click, the bank, then their bank branch and the account number. Now, I just want to keep this simple. And um, in most cases, when you're filing, they are, it, it is rare that you need a refund, but if you need a refund, you can fill this information. In the, for the purposes of this tutorial, I won't fill any bank details here. I'll leave that blank. It will still be able to validate. I'll still be able to upload it. However, what is mandatory? Section B, the filing status, the return type. Whenever you see that red asterisk on any return, it means that it is mandatory. So the return type is an original. If I wanted to file an amended one, I'll just click on amended and I'll fill this other uh, you know spaces but since we are filing an original an original return is a return that you're filing for the first time I'll click original and there we are now the dates so the dates here we're supposed to fill in the dates sun from sunday the moment we fill in the first date here as sunday the other days that is monday tuesday wednesday and so on will auto populate so if I put a date here that is not Sunday, then these other cells will not auto populate. Now take note that these cells that you're seeing here that are in that are gray, they are actually locked cells. They can't be edited, so the information there is is it's put there by the macros. So the dates, for example, at the day, the time I'm I'm recording this video. It is a public holiday. It is the 16th day of February 2020, which is a public holiday in here in Uganda, Janan Luwumu Day. If it's a Wednesday. So if I put 16th here, 16th of February 2022, I put 16th of February 2022 and I press enter. When I press enter, that's the message they are showing me that the date entered do not match with date shown above. Please enter the correct date. What that message is actually trying to tell me is that the date that I am supposed to fill in here is supposed to be a Sunday date. This Sunday will be the 20th of February 2022. Let me fill that in right here. We see 20th of February. 2022 and I press enter when I click on that Sunday I think you can see that after just filling in that date these other dates auto populate and they fill themselves or they auto populate or they will fill themselves up to Saturday right here Saturday 26th yeah like that okay so now let's come here 1a we need the stake amount so we are supposed to fill these figures with our stake amount. Then 1B, the payout, the winnings, we're supposed to fill this with the winnings. And after I have filled those two, then these other, the other cells here that are locked are going to automatically compute the gaming tax. So let me minimize this. I pull this here, put it there. Then let me get back to my Excel sheet here. Let me also uh, put it side by side here. So that now, so this is the soccer, okay? We are dealing with a gaming company that just deals in one kinds of game. So this is what we do. So uh, soccer, we have the stake, we have the payout. So they want the stake. If I come back here, 
the stake amount is what needs to be filled here. So we have this information here as our stake amount right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, of course, this, as you can see, the information is vertical, and yet the information here is horizontal. So I can either fill this in one by one. I come, I copy, I come, I paste special here, paste special, paste values. It's important to use paste special, paste values. I come, do the same thing here. I copy the, the thing for Tuesday. I come here. I mean, this is the thing for Monday, right? So I'll come here on Monday, right there on the box for Monday. I paste special, paste values, like that. I can continue on and on like that up to the end, but that is kind of time consuming. I can do it much faster. How? Let me maximize this. So I can come and copy all these take amounts, these ones, like that, from Sunday to Saturday. I copy all of them. After copying all of them, I will put my cursor right there. I want to paste them here. However, I want to paste them in a horizontal manner. So I'll put my cursor there. Then I will go to my top here. I click on the word paste on this arrow here. I click. Then down here, I come and click on this transpose right there. That thing you're seeing that I'm trying to cause them. Then I, when I click on that, transpose um, option under paste, because this is under paste, but then transpose. And so as you can see here, it has been transposed. Let me try and make them wider here so that you're able to see the figures clearly. What I have done here is that I have transferred this column from the vertical to horizontal format. So I'm going to select the entire horizontal format. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of it. Then I'm going to minimize this because I want to paste it in the template. So I minimize, I do that. Then I come here. Let me maximize this. Then from here, I'll go to Sunday and I paste special <coughs> values. When I paste special and paste values, then what I had copied is going to be copied across the entire line up to, you know, up to the figures for Saturday like that. So I'm going to do the same thing for Sunday here, the payouts. Sunday, so I'm going to maximize this. Sunday, I'm going to come here on payouts. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to select it from Sunday to Saturday. I'm going to copy that. After copying that, I'm going to put my cursor right there because that this is where I want my figure, my results to come. Then I'm going to go to the top left, click on paste. Under paste, I go to the transpose option. I click on that. Then I will, as you can see here, I have the whole this whole column transposed into a row. Then I'm going to go ahead, select it. I'm going to copy it like that. Then I'll maximize this. Then I'm going to paste it in the payouts row. So I'm come here. I say paste special values. And there we are. So that's it. So after pasting those two, from here we can see that, you know, the uh, template, we have our tax has been computed here. Of course, here, total gaming tax paid. If you have any gaming tax that has been paid prior, you just put the figure here and attach evidence of that much you've paid. But in most cases, people first file, then they go and pay. So and that's the thing to do. So filed, uh, the, our total gaming tax payable is uh, this much. It's around, uh, you know, 41,299,099. That is our gaming tax payable. And so from here, we are going to go ahead and, you know, you after doing this, then you can go and, and generate a payment registration, go and pay. But hey, we are still filing, we are not yet done. So this is our tax liability. So from there, scrolling down here, now there are details uh, down here that we need to fill. These details correspond to what we've been filling up here. So what type of game have we been filling in? The type of game here is soccer. All right, that's the game. The amount of stake, that is the total amount of stake. Where do we get that from? 
if you come to our table here, the stake amount is here. Our total stake is that. Let me uh, highlight it. Our total amount is this. So I'm going to simply come and copy this, the total stake. Come and put it right there. Now, that is it. Uh, paste values. That is our total amount of stake. Then, same thing here. Uh, next, from here, what you can see, they want the total payout right there. The total payout of the total winnings. I'm going to come back to my Excel sheet here. The total payout of the total winnings. Let me try and um, highlight that in green. Our total payout is this amount. So I'm going to copy that 227 million. So I'm coming here and I'm going to paste it there like that. Paste special values. And so let me maximize this. So the moment we do this, the soccer, this is the total amount of staked, the total payouts, and that is the net amount. This is the net amount that was subject to, you know, the tax. So now, after that, we can go ahead and, you know, validate. That validate button is down here. I'll click on the validate button and it will validate. Now there is something else, another way to... To, to fill these two figures that I would like to show you. Let me delete these two and i show you another way. The other way is I have put soccer here after putting soccer here. Now, if it is only soccer that we are handling here, you know, it is only soccer, then I can simply put a formula here. I can simply say this is going to be equal to the sum, you know, using an Excel formula sum of all the stake amounts. So I'm going to come up here and select all the stake amounts up to from Sunday to Saturday, like that. I think you can see here, up here, the formula is, is equal to sum all stake amounts. Then I will close the brackets. Then I'll press enter. And the figure is going to show up here under the amount of stake here, as you can see. Then I'm going to say the same for payouts. I'm going to click there on the payouts. Then I'm going to say equals sum, an Excel formula, sum into all the numbers here from the payouts. I go to the payout columns. Then I'll click and select them. I will drag and select the entire column up to the end. And from up here in our formula bar, it is the sum of B16 to H16. Then I will close the brackets there and then I'll hit enter and definitely we will have the same figure populating itself down here. And so from there, we have finished filling our template. It is now ready for us to validate it and we upload it. Now take note that this, well, this second formula of extracting these figures down here, when it comes to, um, remember these figures here are supposed to be the same as up. Now here it's because we only have soccer. So because we only have soccer, we can afford to put that formula for the sum and we are able to extract the totals from up and it's going to be easy for us. Okay. However, this is not the second formula or the second way of filling these two Excel uh, cells is not going to be possible when, uh, when, when, when the gaming company has multiple games, like I'm going to show you in the second illustration. So let me not get over ahead of myself. So for this kind of um, gaming company that just has soccer as the gaming activity, this is it. Then I'm going to go ahead down here and click validate. Then when I click validate, they're going to tell me that there's no error found in sheet. Do you want to generate the upload file? Then I'll say yes. And I'll go ahead, GBPD weekly return upload. Remember the keyword thing here is that the upload file should have the word upload at the end and you should not tamper with that word to change it or else the file will not be will be corrupted. So I'll simply come here and click save. So they then they'll tell me that no error found, upload is saved and they'll tell me where the upload has been saved. Then I will click OK. So we have validated that and it is ready for upload, but I'm going to show you how we upload it towards the end of this video. Now I want to show you how we fill this template in case the gaming company we are handling is having multiple gaming activities. So here is the part where we come to this. We have we are done with this. By the way, um, just so uh, just to show you how we calculate this tax for those that are interested. Let me try and first delete this.
Now, gaming tax. Let's look at. Uh, first of all, gaming tax is multi is is twenty percent. Gaming tax is twenty percent. So um, it's, it's the twenty percent of the difference between these two. At least that is what the law is saying as of today when I'm recording this video. So if I want to calculate, you know, the gaming tax. That is, I want to know my tax liability before I actually fill this information into the gaming grid template. It is this. Remember, we have the stake amount, we have the payout. If the stake amount is higher than the payout, it means that the gaming company made a profit, right? And if the gaming company made a profit, it simply means that it pays 20% of the difference between those two. Now, in case the payout is more than the stake on any single day, it means that the gaming company on that day made a loss. And if it made a loss, it means there is no tax to pay. So, let's first find out the difference. So, if it's either going to be a profit or a loss. If it's negative value, it's going to be a loss, okay? So I'm going to put a formula here. I'm going to say this is going to be equal to, I want, um, if it's a, it's a profit, if the stake amount, say stake amount minus the payout. That is what I'm saying. This minus that, enter, and we're going to end up with that. Then I'm going to click here and drag this formula down to the rest of the days. And from here, we can see that this day there was a profit of 11 million. This is a profit of 26 million, 29, and so on. But when you look at this day, it, it's having a negative value, this day right there. So it means that on this day, they made a loss. It means that whereas people staked 21 million, but the payouts were more, 58, so there was a loss. So it means on this day, there is no gaming tax to pay because there was a loss. So now that we have identified the profit or loss, now let's look at the tax payable. So the tax to pay is going to be, um, it's going to be this, the profit, multiply the profit by 20%, that is by 0 0.2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put an if function here. I'm going to say this is going to be equal to if function, and then I'm going to open brackets, and then I'm going to put a logical test. Now, that is if this number, the number that I have got in this, I'll click on that cell. If the number I have got there is greater than, so I'm going to say is greater than, if the number I've got there is greater than zero, remember if it is greater than zero, it means there's a profit, right? If it is greater than zero, then I'll say comma, then what should, what should be done if the value is true? If the value is true, then it means that that very number, which is in this cell, F5, should be multiplied by 0 0.2. Okay, that is the answer I want. If it is the logical test is true, then I'll say comma. What if it is false? If it is false, then simply return a 0. Then I'll put a 0. I'll close the brackets. Then I'll hit enter. Now, of course, this kind of computation, I don't know if I'm just being complicated, but for, I mean, if you are an accountant, you should, be, I'm simply using an if function to compute the taxation here. Uh, you should really know these formulas. It is basic, underst basic uh, Excel skills for accountants. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on that thing down here and drag the formula down up to there. So from clicking the formula down here, you can see that only on days where there were profits, their compute, the tax has been computed. And then on the day where there was a loss, there is no tax computed. Now, I know probably some of you are still lost at the part where uh, I'm talking about the if function in Excel. Now, okay, not to complicate your life, you simply say this Multiply that by 20%, this profit. Multiply it by 20%. This multiplied by 20%. Then you'll be getting figures here. And the only figure, you just may, you just have to look out for the fact that where there is a negative value, you delete that because there is no tax. Remember here, if this time 0 0.2 is going to give you, uh, it will be giving you a negative number. And there is no such thing as negative tax. So 
it's supposed to be zero there's no tax okay so this tax i can go come here and then i get the summation i'll hit auto sum up here when i click on auto sum it's going to give me the sum of the taxes for the whole week let me highlight it in red so this whole week's tax this you realize that this figure let me minimize this that this figure 41 to 100 when i click here it is the same figure we got here 41 to double nine zero nine nine like that now this is for this is the, the, this extra working i'm putting here is really for people who want to do their taxes who want to calculate their taxes before they actually do the filing or filing in the information in the template well if you feel this is a lot of work you can still go ahead and just put your information in the template and the template will do the calculations for you it is still okay so that is for a gaming company that just has soccer only now let's go ahead and look at the gaming company that has multiple games i'm going to click on another sheet here we have multiple games we have this company it's having slots it's has betting it has online it has casino so again how do i do this now so now these are four different areas of gaming but i remember uh we our goal is to file gaming tax and we're supposed to come up with just one if i come back here to single games we want to come up with the table here we are going to to construct a table that is going to come up with all this information consolidated right so that is what we are going to do here and after getting that information that is consolidated in just one table that information that is consolidated is what we are going to use to fill the return so this is how it goes so let me try and create a new table here that looks like this so this is our table it is a consolidation we are going to create our consolidation here of all these four games right here this game that game that game and that game okay so from our consolidation here so what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead for example this is 20th of february 2022 so we are going under the stake amounts we have here as far as this game up here is concerned as far as slot machines is concerned this right here is the stake amount for, for, for stake amount on that day the total stake amount for betting is that the total stake amount here for online is that and the total stake amount for casino is that so what we're going to do is i'm going to put a formula here i'm going to say it was this is going to be equal to i'm going to add all the sunday's stake amounts for the various games so it's going to be this and then i'm going to say plus uh the sunday there plus that one plus that one i add all those four i click enter and it's going to give me a total of all the, the stake amounts for sunday i'm going to do the same for monday 21st so i'm going to say that is equals monday so monday was this then plus this monday for betting plus the stake amount for online plus the stake amount for casino then i'll click enter so i'm going to do the same for the next day 22nd i'm going to say that it's going to be equals this amount for wednesday or tuesday add that amount for tuesday add that amount for tuesday add that amount for tuesday remember we're just consolidating we're trying to come up with one table that is going to combine all these four different games into one so i'm going to continue and now i think you've got it so let me continue like that for the rest of the games down here Now that we have consolidated all the values of the stake out the stake amounts for the entire thing, games for the whole week now we are going to do the same for the payouts so i'm going to come back on sunday payouts i'm going to say equal to the payouts on for the slot machines was this plus the payouts for betting were that plus the payouts for the winning ticket was that plus the payout for casino was that then i say enter and that's the figure 
I'm going to do the same for the next day. That is 21st. 21st, yes, payout was that, plus that, plus that, plus that one. And I'll click enter. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to continue doing for the other days too. So now that we have finished consolidating our game, now we can just go right ahead and, uh, you know, put this in our template. It's going to be pretty much the same as what we've been doing before, but towards the end, there's something slight, something, something, um, something slight that will change because here we are dealing with more than one area. So let's go ahead and consolidate this into our template. Now our template is already downloaded. It is right here. Let me delete these other things that we had filled in there. And now let's try and instead fill in these details here. Now I'm going to copy, to, to make this faster, I'm going to copy this and transpose it. Now if we do copy and transpose it just like the way we did before, remember these figures here are there as a result of some formulas. These figures that you're seeing in this table, this consolidated table, are actually answers or are the summations. Remember we have we came up with this as a result of some additions. We've been adding figures in these individual tables here. So when we come here and we try and, uh, you know, let's say I have copied, I come and copy that, then I click here, then I'm going to go ahead and paste using transpose. I come here and say paste, and then I transpose. If I do that, you realize that I'm going to get errors here. I'm going to say ref, ref, ref. Why? Because when I transpose these figures, even the formulas that were used to get these figures were transposed together with them. And since these formulas, their references are different, definitely you are going to find that we are not going to get actual figures. So to avoid this kind of error, what we do is, let me first delete this. So what we do is that since we have our table, our consolidation, we are going to extract it and copy the values without, so that we leave the formulas here. Let me copy this table the way it is. Let me create a new Excel sheet here. Let me paste these values here. I'm going to paste special, paste values. When I paste special and paste values, the, the it's only values that are going to come here in this new table. And so I will leave behind the formulas that brought about these figures. And there, I'll be able to transpose it comfortably. This is a date column. Let me change it to short date. Yeah. So let me start. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to click here and transpose. I can either go up here or I simply say, um, I right click and then I come here to transpose here like that. And so as you can see, it will transpose itself like that. I'm going to do the same thing for the payouts. I'm going to go, come, copy, then I'll click there, and then I'll right, I'll right click, then I'll click transpose right there, like that. So the transpose, I say, did you say okay? The transpose can either be achieved like that, or I can simply click here, and then I come to paste up here, and I click transpose, and it will still give me the same outcome. All right, so that is it. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. These are my total stake amounts. So let me minimize that, come back to my template, maximize it. My total stake amount, I'm going to come here and paste special, paste special values. That's my total stake amount. Let me minimize this now. Get back here, maximize it. Let me do my payouts. My payouts were here. I'm going to copy my payouts like that, copy them, minimize this, then I come back here, maximize this template, click here on Sunday, and then I paste special values, and there we are. So from here we can see that this is a, the tax we are going to, to have, it's about 87 millions. Now, now that we have done this, now the consolidation down here, the type of game. Let me delete this. This is what we had filled in in the previous example. So 
Remember now the type of games here we have. We have four different games. Let me minimize this. Let's come back to our source document with our information. Let me go down to this sheet for multiple games. Now, multiple games, remember we have slot machines, we have betting, we have online, we have casino. So this kind of breakdown is what is required down here. And I come back to my gaming template down here, the type of games. These are the games that we need to list down here. And after listing those games down here, we are going to list down their individual stake totals and payout or winning totals. And the figures down here should coincide with the consolidation up here. If those two figures are not coinciding with the consolidation up there, the template will not be able to validate and you will not be able to upload it. So let's do just that. So the type of game, we have slots here. So I'm going to go here and write slots. Then the other game we have is betting. I'm getting the betting from here. Then if I'm to continue down here, we have online betting. So we come here and say online. Then again from online, what we have next is the casino. Then come here and say casino, like that. So we have four, one, two, three, four. There are four kinds of games. So what's the amount of stake? The amount of stake. So I'll come back here. Now we are looking at slot machines. So we'll come back here to slot machines, the amount of stake. We are going to come and pick the total here. So I'm going to come, copy the total, come back here and paste special here, values. Then what is the uh, winnings for payout? Total payouts for slots is this one. I'll copy that, then I'll come do. Now the payouts, paste special, values. I'm going to do the same thing for betting right here. So betting is, I'm going to go ahead, copy, betting, come here, paste, paste special, values. Then same thing here, get the total for the whole week for, for betting, payouts for betting, same story, paste special, values. I'm going to go ahead, Two. Now, what is next here? Online. So for online, I'm going to do the same. So I come here to my source document. Online, I have that as a total. Come here, put our total here. The special values. Then for our win payouts right here. Copy. Come here. Paste special. Paste values. Then again, we are going to do casino. Same story. Copy the casino, come here, put it there, paste special, values, then right there, also same story, copy, come here, do the same story here, paste special, paste values, like that. If I'm to maximize this, so from here what you can see is that we have the games broken down here. However, if I'm to look down here, uh, you should be able to, However, if you're to see that this, the sort of this, I mean, just for purposes of testing to make sure that you're correct, the total, um, I'm simply going to have, uh, you know, uh, just highlight it here. If I to highlight the total amount, the total stake amount, I highlight here, I highlight up to there, the total amount, and then I release my mouse after highlighting those four. If I highlight those four, if I am to show you down here, down here, it's going to show me the sum, and the sum is 2,095,947887. That is the sum after I have highlighted those four. Now, this sum should be equivalent to say the sum of the total stake amounts up in the consolidation. So you may want to write this thing down somewhere that it is 2,095,947,888. Um, like that. So after writing that down, then I can go up here to the stake amount. This line of stake amount, I select it, I highlight all of it, this whole line up to the very end. When I highlight that whole line up to the very end, then I come down here and I am observant it is going to show me the sum of the selected cells. And the sum is still going to be 2,095,947,887. So the sum of the totals up is the same. 
So it means we, as far as take amount is concerned, we are good to go. Same thing with uh, payouts. I'm going to select these four items. When I select those four items and I highlight them like that, down here it is showing me 1,656,081,848. So you might want to write that down somewhere. And then after writing it down somewhere, you come up here and you come to the line for payout, that is the winnings. And then you select that entire line from Sunday up to Saturday. When you select that entire line from Sunday up to Saturday, then you come down here, you realize it's giving you still the sum of 1,656,081,848, which is exactly the same as before. So when those two figures that you're doing are coinciding, it shows that your figures up in the consolidation are consistent with the figures down in the breakdown. And so from there, you can, can really tell that we do not have a problem. Our thing is coherent. Then I can come and click the validate button. And when I click the validate button, they say no error found in sheet. Do you want to generate upload file? I'll say yes. And then after generating the upload file, I'll come here. I'll simply say, maybe I, I select a folder where it should go. I say, say save, and there we go. No error found in sheet. And they tell me where it is. I say, okay. So now I've generated the upload file. So basically, that's how we fill the gaming tax template for both uh, a company, gaming company that just has one gaming item and the other that has multiple gaming items. That's how we do it. So maybe just to briefly show you how we actually upload this. So yeah, here is the time um, to go ahead and upload our return. Now that we have finished, you know, um, filling it in and populating all the necessary figures in therein. So I'll go and log into my account. After logging in, so the procedure you follow here when you're going to um, upload, it's we are going to go to e-return right here. We hover over e-return. Then from e-return, we are going to get our mouse. There is the original side of original. There is amended. We go to original since we are defining an original return and we shall come here to gaming tax weekly that link right there so we click on that link after clicking on the weekly return you come here and select the appropriate week uh the appropriate week uh let me see uh we were in february the year was 2022 now when you are uh, when i come here and click go after clicking go the dates are going to auto populate in these two boxes so i'll click go so uh, click go, it's going to auto-populate from 13th to 19th. Now, of course, in our sheets, when we were trying to illustrate, I think we put in from 20th, February 2022. And, you know, but, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes. You just have to make sure that the dates that are in your return are coinciding with the dates that are here. Unfortunately, um, we, we used 20th, February 2022 in our... When I was trying to illustrate during the tutorial and uh, I can't put 20th here because actually today is 20th. This week has to first get done before the system can allow me to select those dates here. So yeah. So well, since today is 20th, it means the previous week ended on 19th. That's why this week is there. It, we, we can I can click here, check. So all this is just for demonstration purposes, but you should be able to use your common sense to make sure that the dates that come through here are the same dates that you put in your return. If those two sets of dates are not the same, the return won't be able to upload. So I'll click check right there. So when I click check, so when I click check, so this is what comes. So I'll go ahead and write the uh, this case sensitive stuff. So I'll come here and choose the file, click. So when I choose file, I'll go ahead and click, choose the, the, the upload file. So our upload file is right here, Gippy BT Weekly Return Upload, that Gippy Gaming and Pool Betting Tax Weekly Upload with the word upload at the end, yeah. So I'll click on that, that is our file. Then I'll go ahead and upload it here. I click the word upload. And of course, when you click upload there, the thing is able to, you know, it, it will get uploaded and you'll be able to submit your return 
upon submission of your return you will get a, a message a notification in your inbox to show that your return has been received and also at the same time you'll be able to get a payment registration sent to your inbox that you can always print out and go and pay the tax liability so i won't click upload because this is actually a live environment i do not want to uh, and everything that i have been doing is was purely for demonstration purposes i am pretty confident that you've been able to learn how to you know fill in the gaming and pool betting tax template you know how to upload it you have any questions or any clarifications that you want me to make let me know in the comment section below my name is Anul Drangakuramia from kisembo academy.com take care